Good morning, pictures rolling family. Yeah, I'm up. First, do a couple of chores and stuff like that. Gonna wash the clothes. Clothes, you know how clothes pile up. So, yeah, I got this load of clothes I'm gonna do. I might clean up a little bit. So, I'm gonna take y'all with me, start this vlog up. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, be notified. We wait for guys. It is free, but Nipa went to work, started in school, it's Monday the, what, 16th, so, yeah, I'm gonna attack these clothes, bring y'all with me though. But yeah, I'm drying the clothes right now. So I'm gonna take a little breather. You know I have to get a little snacks in or whatever. But I'm right now I'm also watching the Fritz family. Y'all go check out the Fritz family. Shout out to the Fritz family. And I'm looking at the soul food mud band right now. The Fritz. Fritz family entertainment. Y'all can go check them out. But right now, what I'm on to right now, I'm for the tech this living room. Kick out over there sleep. I'm for the like vac yeah, I'm for the vacuum, like tidy up little thing, wipe down or whatever. You feel me? So clean up to the to the clothes get dry, then I'ma fold the clothes. You feel me? You can't you can't you cannot see me for the past I'ma say the past eight years we never iron clothes. Wanna know why? The secret is when you finish drying your clothes, you fold your clothes. So you don't got to iron your clothes or if the clothes, your good clothes you like to wear, you dry, put it on the hanger. It will never be wrinkled. It would never be wrinkled. So good advice on that though. But yeah, I'm gonna watch Fritz family, eat some soul food and hear their conversation because I be into the conversation. So yeah, but I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna also back back in this floor. So. Hi guys, I'm home from work. <laughs> and not long ago, I got home from work. I did stop at the store and I had brought some 
some Italian meatballs and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do this recipe. Let me show y'all. So right here, I got these Italian meatballs. I have no idea what this brand tastes like, but the recipe is right here. Sweet and tangy glazed meatball. I said I was gonna put them in the crock pot and let the crock pot do it. Just add all these ingredients together. I have to add some creamy, creamy French, actually French style dressing. Um, of eight ounce. Okay, let me start over. Combine salad dressing and onion soup mix in a medium saucepan over medium heat, stir in apricot preserve until well blended. Add meatballs and bring to a boil. Turn heat down low, cover, cook for 30 minutes, stir occasionally until meatballs are hot and glazed. So I do have the onion mix right here. So it's real, it seems to be real easy and simple. So it'll be just those three ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Preserve. Voila, we'll be back when it's all finished. But this is what it looks like for now. Okay, I'm gonna come back and show y'all. Yeah, that's what it looks like. We'll be back. This is the results of the meatballs. They're supposed to be like a I'm, saying, I'm assuming a glaze. I had to add some water to it because um, I've mixed, I pulled the, uh, what is it called? The onion mix, y'all, I pulled the onion mix in here without mixing it with some water. And then I made a small pot of rice. So, yeah. That was my meatballs. Again, I followed the end. I followed the directions on here. Whatever the recipe came with on that bag. So I'm back in Walmart again. <sighs> I'm so tired. Just got off work. Hold on, let's get some focus going on here. There we go. So, I just got off work and I came to Walmart to pick up a few things. Got my little basket. Oh. Y'all, you know you out of shape when you just can't breathe for nothing. A little bit of a little bit of workout wear you out. You be out of breath and can't breathe. But I'm going to find some things for my Christmas tree, you guys. So I'm taking y'all with me, okay? Ooh, look at this. I need some big balls, but I don't think I need them that big. So, yeah. Okay, let's go get what we looking for. I need something called mush mesh. Mesh. I'm sure I'll find it over here somewhere. Huh. Yeah, right over here. Excuse me. Oh, you're fine. Okay. Alright, so let's see if we can find the one we're looking for. 
And who else like these little baskets? I think they're so convenient, right? But music is playing, so that means copyright. So there we have it. I'm sorry, excuse me. Nope. So there's no music playing on this side. So I'm just getting a some grocery, a few grocery items. Look at this. What happened to all the soup? All the soup gone. Well, guess I'll be having beef. Beef and chicken. I'm gonna get that. Just a few. Not that many. Um, what else I need? I don't know, y'all. It's like my mind went blank. I don't know. I figured it out. People keep looking at me weird. What am I supposed to do? I'm doing this for y'all. They looking at me like this, side eye. Don't be side side eye me. Snickerdoodle. Really? Snickerdoodle popcorn, y'all. Come on. I think it's good. Don't y'all think it's good? I think it tastes good if you ask me. So let's see what else we can find up in this piece. Let me start looking at y'all crazy. I'm gonna get me some soda. Okay. Bet you they don't have the soda I want.
Look. The owl. Nope, they don't have it, y'all. Sorry. That man was putting them sodas up. He's strong. Go ahead. I don't get it. Do y'all can't keep drinks on the shelf or what? Like there's a um, trucker protest. Right? A trucker's protest. Yes. How long that's been going on? Um, uh, a week or two. Week or two. So every time I come here, there's never um, ginger ale bowl. I don't know about that. I know we don't have ski like that right now. Now we don't have ski. Never. I haven't seen the one. Oh. Might have just stopped. Always look back, make sure you're not leaving anything, and be on your way. Just like that. All right, let's go. to go into Michael's I do not know if they will have what I'm looking for but we're gonna find out and if there's music you guys I'm sorry I have to put you going speed or whatever okay excuse me the um oh, they gotta have it come on Lord. Okay, so. I'm gonna go down here and see if they have it, y'all.
this it, y'all. Got two. I wonder if they got it anywhere else. If they got, oh, look at that. That's so pretty. Look at that owl. Look that pretty, y'all. The next one. I'm looking for lollipops. And that's hard to find. Y'all do not have any lollipops, do you? Any what? Lollipops. Yeah. Decoration. Lollipop decoration. Okay. I mean, I see a lollipop here, but that's all in the mix. Like this, right? Yep. They had a garland. They did. Like that. It looked like uh, string of candies. Yeah, if we had something like that, it would be in here. Over here. We don't have it or something. Yeah. They got a, a Christmas truck in today. They don't have it all the way unloaded. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking My Way with your girl, Lisa. I am back with a Cooking My Way. So today, as y'all can tell by the title, it is cream uh, cheesecake, not cream cheese, but strawberry. Strawberry cheesecake, okay? My way. And we're gonna get started with the crust, okay? So y'all, I found this crust. It's an almond pie crust, right? You can use it for sweet or savory, and it's ready to use. Well, I've decided to use that, well use this, along with some cookies, some Biscoff, Biscoff's cookies. I'm gonna use that and this. I'm gonna mix the two together and y'all, I'm kind of experimenting on this if you didn't know that by now, but um, fingers crossed and pray to the good Lord that it comes out good, okay? So I just put that in there. I'm gonna get it all chopped up. Chop, 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 chop it all up. All right? I am not going to use the whole pack. I'm going to use probably half the pack. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crunch this up. I'm going to use my um, Bella it's a stainless steel blend blending arm so this is what it's gonna um blend up my cookies <sighs> all right but you got other ways of doing it y'all now i'm sorry yes you can use um a ziploc bag put it in a ziploc bag and mix it up and beat it like yeah yeah <clears throat> I was told to put it, start where I'm filming. You put it together, if it sticks, 
then it works. But I may need a little butter in it. Oh, I did wash my hands. <laughs> Don't you get it twisted. Mm -mm. So this is about not even a half a cup of tea of um, butter. I'm just going to use a little bit. Not all of it. Now, I'm not even going to mix it with that. I'm going to mix it with a spoon. Just mix the rest. Just make sure everything get um, coated, okay? Y'all, so I'm not gonna use the pie crust that that I had. I'm gonna use this baking dish right here, a glass baking dish. Yes, I know. Cheesecake my way. Yeah, I know. Cheesecake is supposed to be sliced as a triangle, but why y'all gotta do it traditionally? Do it your way. If you don't have the um, right utensils, improvise. Find something to use. Like, don't use an excuse not to. Don't have an excuse not to do it. Well, I don't have this, so I can't do that. Figure it out. Make a way. You know. The best, the best ideas come from mistakes. Well, the best recipe ideas. Yeah, I come from mistakes. Come from mistakes. So we're gonna spread this out. Get this all spread it out. It smells really, really good, y'all. Okay, we're gonna get that spread out and start on the cream cheese, okay? So I'm gonna start out with two eight ounce cream cheese. I did everything. one and here's number two y'all haven't seen me do a, a cooking my way in a long time it has been a while but I'm glad I did explain to y'all once be, you know one time or a few times in some previous videos about I wasn't gonna be doing cooking my way unless it was something different or something new I pretty much kind of cook, cook, cooked out, kind of. All right, that's two eight ounces of cream cheese. I might need more. I ain't sure. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use a cup, a cup of sugar. So I'm going to measure out one cup, okay? This is one cup. So I used about um, a cup and a half of sugar. It ain't no. But you do want to mix it until it's nice and smooth, okay? So I'm going to use two cups of sour cream, okay? Not cups. I'm using a half a cup. So pretty much um, half and half makes a whole, right? Yeah, a cup. So I'm going to use about a cup, a cup of sour cream. Yeah, remember this is cooking my way. I don't have no exact measurements for anything. I'm kind of like playing by ear. I'm sorry. I'm just praying that it come out, that it turns out good. But it's being recorded, so it'll be on, it'll be documented. I know how much sour cream I use, how much sugar I use, and I'm going to use some heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna use just um, a half a cup. Mm. 
you want to drop one egg at a time okay y'all I'm gonna do that Some people use some people use flour, some people use cornstarch. I'm gonna use cornstarch and I'm gonna use that much. Teaspoon, y'all. Like not even a teaspoon. Half. Something like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the salt. I'm mm. I'm not even gonna use that much salt. You know how much salt I think I'm gonna need? A pinch. So if y'all not sure how to make a, how to get enough like a pinch, put it in your hand like that and do that right there. One pinch? I'm gonna do like pinch. one and a half. I ain't even do a whole pinch on the second one. And then I got some lemon juice over here. One, I squeeze one lemon, okay? Put that in there. And then I got my vanilla. <sighs> vanilla. That's about two teaspoons. The measurements on the inside of this, y'all, and I'm gonna look at it. Let me look at it so I can tell y'all how much it was, okay? Give me one minute. Okay, in this little measuring cup, I have two lines. The line that's at the bottom is a half a teaspoon, and the all the way, filling it all the way up will be a teaspoon. Tablespoon, tablespoon. So the line at the bottom is a half a teaspoon, and the bottom, the top is a table. Now we're going to mix everything and get it all smooth. The consistency that you want your cheesecake to come out. Okay? Now we're going to go ahead and get it in the oven at 350 for one hour. Y'all, cheesecake ready. That's how you want it to look. Yep, that's ready. Get that good old bounce back. So I'm pureeing some strawberry with a cup of sugar and a little bit of water. So wrong. Cause it ain't supposed to be watery. Well, it's supposed to be like a gelatin type. So maybe the um. Yeah, let me just wait a little bit and see. Okay, y'all, I took this stuff off of there because 
I didn't want to mess it up. So I'm going to just go ahead and cut it. Give it a taste. So y'all can see what it tastes like. Well, so I can tell y'all what it tastes like. So my crust is dark because of the cookies I chose. But I'm going to just go ahead and give it a taste. Mm. It need to firm up a little more. Mm, it's real good. Okay, so I did make it home and I took all, um, I didn't take everything out of the bag, but y'all will see in the next video when I put everything together, the Christmas tree and all this, this all this and that. We thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Hit the bell to be notified so you don't miss the next upload from us. And if you're new to our channel, what are you waiting for? It's free. Free. It's free to subscribe. We love y'all. And also, if you need to comment on the community board, it will be available, okay? Bye. See you in the next video.